When the United States government has military actions of all kinds overseas, ordinary people are dying, people just like you and me. Their citizens of those countries are just people like us. And they have goals and dreams and ideas and lives and customs and religions and language. And they love their mothers and they love their children. And us not understanding that makes it really difficult to have questions like, is peace possible? Yes, it is. To make that part of our, our souls, not just an ideological statement, is to think of each person as a human being. When people facetiously say, let's bomb Iran to stop their imaginary nuke bomb, when you look at the map of Iran, those squiggles and things on there, people live there. Actual human beings who have lives just like yours. Peace is the path. That is the way. It's an action. And that's what people should do. Being pro-peace is being pro-something. It's not being just anti-war. It's being pro-families. It's being pro-life in the larger sense of, you know, not having children killed. It's being pro the respect of other people's cultures and ideas, and ultimately respectful of uh, every person's individuality and autonomy. And that's where peace begins. There is no such thing as a good war. And the idea that people can fight for liberation, well, only people can fight for their own liberation. If you're liberating the self, that can only be done by you. It can't really be done by proxy. The Constitution really doesn't provide for looking into other sovereign nations' elections and making decisions about who can be their leader. It's not our place. These other nations have sovereignty. And also, as individual Americans, we probably should be a little more conscious of how our tax money is spent, and if it's spent to do things that have no benefit to us and have no benefit to the people there, then maybe there should be a question on why we need such a large military. When the public discussions are, should we go to war? There are several critical things you should ask yourself. One, look at the history of that country and its relationship with the US. Look at the events that brought us to this place. Read journalism. It's really, really important that you get from a wide range of sources and to think critically about what it is that the United States is being asked to do or rather what its citizens in its name are being asked to do. Before you think the call to war is a good idea, make sure you entirely understand that on the other side, the other end, is a human being just like you.